you think what that being a woman in this space, you know, throughout the field of philanthropy, we hear of, you know, Mr. Carnegie and Mr. Rockefeller and Mr. Gates and Mr. Buffett. Um, has that played a role in how you approach these questions? You know, it's, in it's interesting. I almost feel like a little bit opposite on that. Like there's something sort of soft touch about the philanthropy space, you know, uh, like something sort of feminine about charity and giving mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a way that is funny because the founders of all of these mm -hmm. foundations were men. But I've often felt a little bit of a pressure to like butch up my conversation <laughs> with like <laughs> metrics and, you know, we've got to be very measurable around it instead of talking about, you know, you know, children's faces and things like that. And so I, I've, I've almost felt a little that it's, that there's something quite feminine about philanthropy in a funny way because as you, as you rightly point out, most of the contributors financially to the space have been men. Um, I don't know, it might, that might just be the marketing around it, you know, that we, we're moving it from, you know, Sally Struthers, you know, with, with children in the street to, um, you know, Muhammad Yunus in economics, you know. Well, I think you're a wonderful addition to this space and couldn't thank you enough for sharing your insights, how you approach a philanthropy, how you've engaged with Ian and your mom, uh, and all the things that we are grappling with in this class. The class, by the way, is in a few weeks giving away $100,000. That's so cool. And they are empowered to make those decisions. Uh, and so it's wonderful to have your perspective, which is so highly relevant to what they're doing. Uh, this has been a wonderful conversation with Liesl Pritzker. She's shared so much with us and inspired me, and I can see from the faces of our students, inspired the students as well. She's passionately talked about the challenge between the cold economic <laughs> metrics <laughs> and the smiles <laughs> on children's faces. <laughs> and it makes me wonder, what are you doing to make the world a better place?